Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, we are going to go through our bass tackle box because we are getting ready to go on our bass fishing trip. Uh, really looking forward to that. And because we are doing that, we also thought it was a good time to start another giveaway for one of our custom angling spiders, Len Thompson lures. So if you're interested, stick around and you can find out how to get your name entered for the draw. But before we get to that, what I want to do is clear something up from a previous video. Many of you who are watching right now uh, may have joined us on our live stream just a little while ago when we hit a thousand subscribers. And during that live stream, we actually gave away some prizes to the people who were at, in attendance. Uh, they were Len Thompson lures. Um, some of them, one of them was, was our custom angling spiders one. And then we also gave away some of the, the custom food bank Len Thompson lures during that uh, live stream. We went back and watched that video and realized that the very first live giveaway that we did, we gave it away to the wrong person. Some of the people were trying to point that out in the chat um, and we missed it. And so we want to fix that today. So uh, how it worked was we asked people in the live stream to pick a number and they had to get as close to the number that we chose um, without going over. And we picked a winner that was gang fishing but what we found out afterwards is that gang fishing had actually made three guesses. You were only allowed to make one guess and it was the third guess that was the closest. And so the person who actually won that one was, was somebody else and that was Doug McKay. So we want to fix that today. And it just so happens that gang fishing never actually contacted us. Maybe, maybe he knew that uh, he wasn't the real winner. And so we still have those custom Len Thompson lures available. So Doug, uh, I know you watch us regularly. I hope you're watching this video. Um, you are the true winner of one of the giveaways uh, on the live stream. You have your choice of a custom food bank lure and uh, an angling spider sticker. So what we need you to do is get in contact with us at anglingspiders at gmail.com and pick one of these custom food bank lures. You can have the orange, the pink or the green and we will get that sent out to you as soon as we can. We apologize for missing that in the live stream and we're happy that we can fix it now. So congratulations and uh, we'll get this sent out to you as soon as we can. All right, let's get on to today's episode. All right, everybody. So as I said, we're gonna go through very quickly our bass tackle box that we put together for our upcoming trip. Um, I just wanna mention that prior to us getting involved in this community, we actually knew absolutely nothing about bass fishing. We've never caught a bass. We've never been bass fishing. We didn't ha really have bass fishing gear. Um, so we have watched a lot of your channels. For those of you out there that do bass fishing, uh, both in Canada and the United States, we've been watching your channels. We've been learning a lot of some tips and tricks. And of course, we also entered a bunch of giveaways and we won some bass fishing gear. And so uh, we really appreciate it because our tackle box now looks pretty good with things that we think we can use to catch a bass. So what I'm going to do is just run through a couple of things that we are going to use. And the reason I'm doing that is because it ties into the lure giveaway that we're doing. So um, if you want to get entered to win one of our custom Angley Spiders Len Thompson lures, what you need to do is tell me in the comments below um, do you think we're going to catch a bass, uh, first and foremost, um, because we're going to a lake that uh, does have a pretty good bass population, so we're hoping to catch some, and we're going fishing for multiple days, so um, we're hoping to be pretty lucky. And second of all, what do you think we're going to catch it on? I'm going to show you some of the baits that we're going to use. Um, when we get out there, we're going to basically roll a dice and pick one at random and start with that lure. And uh, then I'm going to fish with it for about a half an hour and then I'm going to move on to the next one. So uh, we'll rotate through the lures. Uh, what I want to know is which one you guys think will catch us our first bass. So I'm going to run through the kit and show you some of the different types and you can let us know below. I'll remind you again at the end if uh, you want to get your name in. If you do put a comment and you want in the giveaway, as always, please make sure you put hashtag giveaway so that we know you want to enter. All right, let's get to reviewing what's in our tackle box. All right, so here is our tackle box. This happens to be an uh, old, old pal tackle box that belonged to my father. 
uh, I had it down in the basement and I wasn't using it for anything, decided that, hey, why don't I put the bass fishing gear in this tackle box? That way we've got it set aside. And uh, you know, great, uh, great tribute to uh, having some of this stuff from my father around. Um, really, really uh, looking forward to using this and some of the tackle that's in it. So I will show you some of the things that are in there right now. So I got the tackle box opened up. Uh, you can see there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Again, I want to thank the community out there because as I said, almost everything in this tackle box came from us winning a giveaway on YouTube. There's a couple of things that we've added, but I can tell you it's not very much. So most of these things were either gifts from YouTube or uh, in some cases, Kieran got a, a gift for Christmas, but uh, really looking forward to using a lot of thing, these things. So I'm gonna go through them um, one at a time just to show you some of the things to give you some ideas on what you might want to guess that we'll catch our first bass on. All right, so number one is a popper. Uh, we only have one of these, surface popper, but um, we're gonna give this one a try. It's got a little bit of a rooster tail on it, so that's number one. And by the way, I hope I'm naming these things right because I said we don't know a lot about bass fishing and everything I've learned about bass fishing is coming from you guys on YouTube, so I hope I'm getting the names of some of these lures right. Uh, two, we're gonna try some crankbaits. Uh, this one's in a crawdad a pink crawdad color. So we will definitely be trying some crankbaits. We have about three or four different varieties of crankbaits. Some of them in a shad, this one's in a crawdad. Um, we have a perch crankbait, here's, here's one of those. So um, the second type we're gonna try is a crankbait. The third type we're gonna try are swim baits. So here's a swim bait in the color of a perch. And the lake we're going to that's full of bass actually also has perch in it. So that's one of the things that they're eating. So we are gonna try some perch patterns and we actually have a couple of those, including um, the one that we really love to use, our Mako swim bait. So both of them in perch colors. So we also have swim baits, that's number three. I'm looking forward to trying those. Then we've got some chatter baits. Um, this one's a Z-Man chatter bait. We also have another one here in in white. So we're going to try some chatter baits and we'll tip these with some plastics. Uh, I'm not sure which yet. But that's good. Then we've got one whopper plopper. Uh, this one's got it at the end. Um, again, surface whopper plopper. So looking forward to giving that a try. Our Next one is a frog. And again, we've got a couple of different variations on the frog. We got a black one here with a skirt. And then we've got uh, this green one with legs, actual legs. So we're gonna try some surface water frogs. Um, we actually have one more surface lure. Kieran might try this one, it's a loon. Uh, so that's an interesting one. And uh, we'll see, he might give that one a toss. Then we've got, I don't even know, I, I guess this is a jointed swim bait. Um, that's a shad pattern. So we'll be uh, giving a try on the jointed swim bait. And I guess similarly as a jointed swim bait, we also have this crawdad um, that's jointed at the back end. Um, so there's the jointed swim baits. And then lastly, of course, we've got a variety of soft plastics. Um, we've got some Guggen soft plastics. We've got some power bait frogs. Uh, of course, we've got our Beard Zero lures. Um, we've got a few other things, some big bite baits in here. Um, a variety of different patterns and colors. And uh, so that's an option for us as well. So that's our kit here. And we're going to basically number those and we're going to try them. So. We will try as many of those as we can until we hopefully catch a fish. And uh, we're really looking forward to giving it a shot. So once again, for those of you that are looking to potentially pick up one of those custom angling spiders lures, I'll put that list up once again that I just went through and uh, I'll give you a number and you can tell me, will we catch a bass? And if so, what do you think we will catch it on? Um, and include in that comment hashtag giveaway and you'll be in to enter for winning one of those lures and we'll obviously 
give you guys the results once we're back from our trip and we find out if we were successful or not. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much it. The only other thing I'm gonna say today is in addition to going bass fishing for the first time um, and using a lot of these baits and lures for the first time because we've never used as many of these for, for pike even, uh, we are also gonna have, I'm gonna have one more first. And I thought it's only appropriate if I'm going bass fishing to also try using a bait caster. <laughs> uh, I have tried using a bait caster one other time in my life and it was in fact this exact bait caster and I got a bird's nest really bad but I've been watching again some of your videos. I think I know how to use this thing now. This was my grandfather's. So again, like the tackle box that belonged to my father, this bait caster actually belonged to my grandfather. Um, I just went through and cleaned it up. It looks like it's uh, functioning pretty well. Um, I don't know much about this thing and it's an, it says on here it's an REC 100. I don't even know what brand that is. Um, this was his rod as well. This is a Shimano Convergence uh, six, six foot six inch um, medium rod. And so I'm really looking forward to giving this bait caster a try. I just put on some new line today uh, Respooled it, of course, with what else? Spider wire. Uh, this is what we always use, in fact, spider wire. Uh, we, I put on 15 pound, so I hope that's enough for, uh, 15 pound braid for you, for you bass fishermen out there. I hope you can tell me that that's enough uh, in terms of the, the test line. But uh, yeah, it should be entertaining to see if I can actually use this thing out on the water. Uh, I, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to it and we'll also be bringing our spin casting gear just in case this fails epically. <laughs> I want to have a backup. So um, that'll be very soon. We are looking to get out on the water next week if everything goes to plan. So you can look forward to some episodes from uh, a new location and a new type of fishing for us. All right, quick episode today. Thanks for joining us once again. Uh, as always, we really appreciate it. And if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, good fishing.